I'm going to show you how 250 plus 250 can equal 485. This is 250 mils of Everclear sitting on top of 250 mils of water. And now I'm going to insert a spoon. The volume rises slightly as the spoon displaces water, that's expected. But look what happens as I stir. Look at that 500 mil line. Keep looking at it. The volume of the liquid is going down. All I'm doing here is mixing the Everclear and the water, and the volume's going down, visibly. And it gets even more visible when I take the spoon out. Look, this is before, and this is after. The volume went down by 15 milliliters, which is 3% of the total. Now, the explanation people usually give for this is hydrogen bonding. The increased attraction between molecules pulls them closer together, which decreases their volume, blah, blah, blah. But let's test that explanation. This is glycerol, which has three hydroxyl groups, three times as many as ethanol does, so it should hydrogen bond three times as much, so the mixture should contract three times as much as ethanol water, right? Well, look, it doesn't. In fact, it doesn't even contract one time as much as ethanol water. The volume loss here is only five mil. So hydrogen bonding almost certainly plays a role, but there is clearly a lot more going on here. And in fact, after probably centuries of work on this, we still don't fully understand what's going on when you mix one liquid with another. But I do now have half a liter of green vodka, 